Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4. Guys, Rex can let's continue on for the last set off. So we are attempting now. We just defeated the international. Britain has capitulated. Lovely, lovely news. But now we're in a situation where we're trying to defeat the Japanese. We need to get our way up to 50% naval superiority in this one area. All of our navy is here. But unfortunately. Uh, we're in a situation where we can't put planes over here to, like, boost our air superiority modifiers, so we're just kind of stuck. Is Germany... I, like, Germany's not at war anymore, right? No, they're technically still at war in Central America as well. But that shouldn't last too much longer, I would imagine. So delete this plan. They can all go where they need to go. Do need more rubber. Because uh, we can't trade with Germany's Asia anymore, apparently. Probably because I blocked all the trade routes. And everybody, uh, you know what? We can trade with Middle Africa. They're going to be a safer tra transport anyway. But we're still kind of just in a bad spot. Japan, thankfully, is kind of sacrificing groups of men at us, which works well for me. But... 37%, 50% intel efficiency. Like, if I could just invade from any other... I mean, the only thing I think of is, like, maybe try to invade Korea. But I think that's gonna... Is there any airports here, even? I think I might just not be able to see the airports. So, I actually need to... I already have military exegy. I didn't, can't... I didn't re-cancel it. We get these four divisions. We're going to go from here to Pyongyang. And just hope that Japan hasn't fortified these areas, which they might have. But if it works, we can at least take over Korea. How many troops does Transmere have? 7 to 24. Of course, yes, America, please join the Entente. Call to arms. Every single war you would not accept. Never mind, you have accepted. So you're not at war with Japan as well. The American Navy might be exactly what we need. You're not going to join the war. I mean, you'll eventually join the war probably anyway. Down the age of Cuba is requesting to join our faction. Are they not in the Reich's facts? Yeah, welcome. You can join the Entente as well. Thank you, Cuba. So the Entente is looking pretty, pretty solid right now. I'm sure the Americans are going to immediately flood, take over Central America. How many men do you have, by the way? 176 divisions, 159 uh, boats, 3,000 aircraft. Thank you. You are an absolute blessing. Because if the Americans can arrive, put their ships just around Japan in some capacity. It looks like they don't have anybody living in Pyongyang. Okay, four more days until this invasion can go off. Oh, and thanks for 45 M1 Garens. Probably not the best thing you could have done, but okay. That means we probably have to abandon this port. I know, you know, we'll leave this naval invasion going. Shift click. Shift plus click. Sometimes I feel like I'm losing my mind. Shift click this order. Once you're able to. Thank you, Germany, for providing some support. You can land at Pyongyang, take over here. We should be fine dealing with um, these guys in India. Shouldn't be like too much of a threat, I believe. But now that you're here, all of these guys can now immediately go up to Korea. We're going to send all of these guys. I don't really care what happens to the these guys at all. We restore the United Kingdom. 
I don't even like am I I'm not even the leader of the Entente anymore, right? I think I I'm still the faction leader. Anyways. One guy goes here. You go here. You go in the middle. So the United Kingdom now exists. Which means we are now... Uh, we're not at peace. So we can't do any of this stuff quite yet. Invite Mexico. Invite the United States afterwards as well. Else we can also we can invite a ton of people. Okay, move Henry Page Croft. We did lose four of our generals, which is probably like not great. Lots of population, negative two. Yeah, I mean actually negative twenty percent war support actually didn't even affect us at all. So we've lost a lot of our leaders, which is I would say kind of awful. I like probably spending a lot of time in upgrading them. But it's fine. It's fine. We probably should, should have got up to War Economy again, like, forever ago. But, you know, here we are. Yeah, we're still technically leader of the Entente. Mexico has agreed to join. Let's invite the United States. I'm sure, I think everybody agrees. I think there's, like, no chance they actually say no. Reinforcements are coming in. Restoration of Parliament. Now the departure of British Exiles. Yeah, it comes to the end of the War Measures Act. Okay, so we're now a social conservative government. Oh, the United States has refused to join. Okay, I, again, I didn't know they could actually do that. Yeah, I guess we'll take over all of Korea. Then we'll build an airport. Assuming it's working the way I think it works. Okay, yeah, we got a new governor general. Uh, we don't need the military access to you anymore. With King Edward back in the United Kingdom, he can no longer sit personally in the Canadian House of Commons. Thus, he's appointed a new governor general to stand in his stead, as chosen Lord Lewis Matabal, cousin of the king, esteemed admiral of the British Navy. Negative 50 political power. We now have a new leader. Cuba has agreed to join the faction. Am I st I'm surprised I'm still a faction leader. Well, that's probably going to change soon. Oh, and I lost like all my admirals too. I don't even have enough admirals to actually maintain the fleet. Uh, so I guess we'll get some new admirals. I mean, we probably should put the better admirals into the armies or the navies that are actually like large. This will get uh, you in charge of here. You in charge, and then we'll put you in charge. Why are you taking attrition? Is it cold? Is that the problem? Yeah, very cold. Unfortunate, but you know what can you do? United Kingdom has agreed. And the U.S. can become leader of the Entente, but again, I don't think they're actually able to do that within the confines of the game. An immediate invasion of Korea. You guys are going to immediately try to push it away. I guess just try to capitulate Transmere just because we can. Thankfully, the Americans have shown up. You know, in some uh, respects. Maybe there actually is not an airport in Korea. But I'd be surprised if that's the case. You guys are going around India for now. Some conflict here with the Americans. Go take Seoul. The United Clique has capitulated. I don't think that matters to us at all. I mean, again, like, I want Japan and Germany to still go to war with each other. My question is, can I build an airport up here? Yes. Build the airport is more important than anything else in the world right now. 
Is Korea considered? No, we could probably put Golden Cells Korea. Hire more people. Keep marching down towards the south. Might as well get like you to come and take all this territory. Okay, so I mean things are kind of stabilizing. I'm not. I don't have any of these guys. Why am I going to research it? Um, sure. Get this stuff. So Korea will be under our occupation. If 350 political power or 350 uh, IEDC points, I guess we'll put one to the United Kingdom. Yeah, we got to also shift around our plans here. Our dockyards build significantly less rifles. Uh, probably also build less naval bombers as well. So we're down to 90 factories, which really is not a lot. We should at least be able to fight the Japanese here. They should be weak, because I don't think they can actually get supplies at the moment. Yeah, so thankfully... Still not enough, though, right? We're at 44%. Like, it's definitely better. But still not exactly where we need it to be, unfortunately enough. Full position. You're gonna march up the coastline. Have you started sending troops down? I don't believe so. Yeah, and immediately, as soon as we leave the other uh, legation city, the Japanese just immediately take it. Not a huge surprise there. So what's the UK doing? The Reconstruction Authority. Doing a lot of stuff. Like, this is definitely a different tree than when we last played as the UK. Okay, we have one extra dockyard. Uh, I guess we'll put those into convoys for now. I mean, we have a ton of convoys, which is nice. Yeah, Italy's landed some troops down here. So thank you, America, for doing that attack for us. Yes, troops have arrived over here. I just sent like, a, a, a number of bad army up here. Again, we don't want the Japanese to take Australia. We need that. I mean, you know what? I, I honestly... I don't think we care about what happens to Australia. And for now, all of you guys... Will now be on convoy escorts. In all of these regions. Peru's joined a faction. I don't think that matters to us. Yeah, because Japan has military access through the fending government, but they, they can't do anything with that because they can't attack through the territory. Yes, Central America's capitulated. Honestly, I think that should go to the Americans because they're the ones who actually did the work. Okay, so America, you can ask Central America. Are they considered out of supplies? I don't believe so, because again, they're getting supplies through Manchuria. Can 
I don't believe Manchuria. I mean, I can join the Japanese faction, but I don't think they really can, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't think they can join it, at least not right now. As soon as we kick them out of these areas, they can't come back in. Like, they can retreat out, but they can't join. And if the Fendi government joins the Japanese faction, we have bigger issues, I think, at hand. Two American convoys were lost. All be coming up here. Anybody who can come up here, please come up here. Japan's sending more troops to Korea. My airport done? The answer is yes, it is. So, you know, screw you guys. I don't want to be here anymore. Go to Korea. They got a pretty okay air force in the region, but it's not like insane. Do I have my scout planes now? Air detection total. Yeah, like that does, it seems like it reduces their superiority number. I still don't, again, I still don't really know where they're getting their numbers from. Position. Cause like I don't really want to deal with transmitter. Like I'm fine if they just kind of live over there for as long as possible. Same with like Australia. I mean Australia, this is their fault. I'm not gonna take any blame for this. Give me air superiority. I believe it does. We should have some more defense here. The 31% penalty for them. That's not bad. Again, I can't attack this guy and make sure he can't walk into the province. Which does suck, but you know what? Honestly, like, what can he do? I think the answer is basically nothing. So Germany's now at peace. We're still at war with a bunch of people. And you guys try to get something done as well. What are you missing? Carrier fighters? Just don't worry about it too much. Kill these guys. Technically, they shouldn't be allowed to do this, but... All of you guys, please make your way down towards the stealth. You know what? You two can be here. Just to try to hold the line a little bit longer. And they're trying to intercept all my ships here. 
Oh, did I say not to go here? I did. You can go through these areas. That's fine. Like, how long is it going to take for you to actually get there? An entire month of sea transport. I mean, it's, it's a long time for sure. 45% here. Got a lot of intel information, but... For some reason, Japan decided to land here. I mean, they have actual territory, but... You know, I'm not going to judge them. They can do what they want. And I'm just hoping that the Americans spend... Or send more men. That would be nice. When do you actually take control of the Entente? Probably when Reconstruction's over, huh? Because yeah, right now I am still technically leader, which is nice. I deserve to be leader. Yeah, they're trying to attack American convoys. I'm, tr I'm tr doing the best I can to, you know, protect some convoys in the region, but... Apparently it's just, it's just not quite enough. The thing is, I just don't want to do, do a transmitter, obviously. If Ru again, Russia, if you were to just attack the Japanese... I mean, you could still attack, like, Russia or Germany or something like that. I mean, technically, I don't know if I'd recommend doing so at this point, but, you know, you could do it. Yes, yeah, so we can probably push our way down at least towards the bottom of the Korean coast. Sure, Panama, you can have some investment in you. I won't say no. And uh, yeah, again, I think, as, once again, I think as far as Mench these guys are at war, they can't join a faction. Otherwise, we might have some problems. What a horrible looking Bulgaria, though. It's an actual disaster. Canceling non-aggression packs. That should be fine. We are sinking some Japanese ships. But we need rubber. I am. Trade some rubber with me, please and thank you. Oh, the first, the first Red Army troops that actually arrived. A beautiful sight. Not a lot of support, or not a lot of a, uh... I guess it needs more, uh, dockyards. Which is a bit of a shame, but okay. Let's put a dockyard here, upgrade this dockyard, crank those at the top of the list. Something like that. And I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching my Anthem. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Nod, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.